Hi guys, it's your girl T back with the Dalton with T here with another video. And if you're new here, what's up, player? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> And today is Vlogmas Day number three. And today we'll be going over three tips for dressing confidently. So let's get started. But before we begin, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. Get on the Vlogmas train with your girl T and subscribe. We are on the path. We are on the path, the road, the train to 500 subscribers. So Help me to get those 500 subscribers. Now, let's get started. Now, tip number one for dressing confidently, wear whatever feels like you. Don't try to be something that you are not. Wear what appeals to you. If your favorite color is yellow and yellow is the only color you have in your closet, that is totally fine. Who cares what anyone else thinks? Wear yellow, your little lemon squeeze, lemon drop. Want to just suck you up with a biscuit and just eat you, your, lo your lovely yellow happy self. But anyway, the point is, wear what is you. If you're a girly girl and you love your pinks and your florals, do that. That's fine. If you love grunge fashion and you have this wild side to you, embrace that. Wear what feels like you. Because no one is a better you than you. <laughs> Tip number two. Tip number two, don't be apologetic for wearing what makes you feel good. Um, this does not mean go wear something vulgar and rude or disrespectful to another human being. That is not what I mean. I'm talking about if you have your own style, your own flow going, don't worry about what other people say. If you like what you like, you just like what you like. Don't worry about others and what they say. Fashion is so different and it has evolved so much throughout the years. Fashion is more of an art of expression now. It's not so much about what you should and shouldn't wear. So however you choose to express yourself, express it. But don't be disrespectful to the next human being. Don't, don't let it be something that you know you ain't got no business wearing. That you know someone might beat you up for. The goal to wearing and expressing to wearing what you want to wear and expressing yourself is to keep it classy and confident not disrespectful and rude to others and also when i thought of this tip um don't be apologetic for wearing what makes you feel good it was mainly a tip mostly addressed to us as women because i feel like we live in a world that over sexualizes everything and why should i be apologetic for wearing a mini skirt because i want to because i like the way my legs look in a with a mini skirt, you know what I'm saying? Like, why should it always be this thing or some, I'm trying to seek attention. Why can't I wear something? Because I know my body look good, you know? So that's what I also mean by that. And um, if I wanna wear a tight fitted dress because I like my curves and my shape, I should be able to do that, you know? Do not wear something to get attention from someone else. That's totally different. But I'm talking about wearing something because you know you look good in what you're wearing. Because you know you like to sport your legs in a cute dress. Because you know you like the way your jeans fit your booty, you know. That shouldn't have to be, that shouldn't be something you should be bashed for just because you like the way your body looks. Now on the other hand, dressing just for attention, don't do that. Don't, you don't, you are worth so much more than that. You don't need to give you don't need to show someone how much you're worth by giving and showing and presenting all your goodies your goodies you know you you are more than enough and whoever can't see that you know they ain't for you anyway be yourself be yourself in a t-shirt or in a tank top you know be yourself and whoever can't accept that they ain't for you you know so if you go if you are gonna dress sexy or cute let it be for you you know not for someone else or for attention there's a big difference in dressing for attention versus dressing for your own pure happiness. So let that be 
it. Dress for your own pure happiness and don't be apologetic about it. And lastly, tip number three, the most important tip of all, love yourself first. I'll say that again, love yourself first. If you can't love yourself first, those other tips are out the window. You have to love yourself first in order to even dress confidently and be confident in what you're wearing. Now, give me a second. I'm going to take us on to church. I will say this. I am a Christian. This is a Christian-based channel. I'm going to tell the truth, and I don't care who don't like it. If you don't know Jesus, if you don't know Jesus, you will never be able to truly love yourself or anyone else first. And that's just the truth. I don't care you don't like it. I don't care what you comment. That is the truth. If you don't know Jesus, you will never know how to properly love yourself first. You might think you love yourself, but you won't you won't truly love yourself until you know God because when you know Jesus, love it takes a whole different level with others and even with your own self. It's it's just so different than if you the way you think you love yourself without him. Nah, you you need him. 1 John 4 verse 8 says he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. How can you possibly even love yourself or even others if you don't even know the author of love? I'm telling you this because I love you. And the point of this video is to dress confidently. And confidence comes from loving yourself and loving yourselves come from... Now that we established that, kind of back to the topic, you have to love yourself first in order to be confident in what you are wearing. And sometimes just naturally dressing up can help with this. And when I mean just naturally dressing up, I don't mean because you have something to do or somewhere to go to to dress up for, but just, just cause, you know, just to dress up and just to look nice for your benefit. And when you start doing this, you really begin to feel a beauty and an appreciation for yourself that you've never felt before. It's something about looking in the mirror and just knowing when you look good. Like just looking when you know that you know that you know you look good. Like, oh yeah, I'm looking cute today. There's something so comforting about it. And the more you do this, you start to fall in love, but not with what's in the mirror, but who's in the mirror. And those are all our tips for today, guys. Let's kind of recap. Tip one, wear what feels like you. Tip two, don't be apologetic for wearing what makes you feel good. And tip three, most importantly, love yourself first. And if you have Jesus, that will become very easy over time. So I hope you all love this video. I love this video. I love just doing it just to help you guys know what it means to be dressing confidently and just loving who you are. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. Keep up with me. Click that notification bell so we can get on the vlog must train. Today was day three. Let's see what day four has in store for us. I love you guys. Bye.